Okay, guys. Just like you guys, I'm sure many of you have seen the uh, videos that have been posted on YouTube and Made a Cafe about uh, 2012, uh, Planet X, uh, Nebiru, uh, the alignment of our sun and planet with the uh, center of the galaxy, a black hole that's supposed to cause uh, a reversal of the poles in a rather short period of time, and all of this uh, stuff. Uh, Basically, some are claiming Armageddon, and others are claiming the end of the world, and natural disasters, and basically a lot of bad things that are supposed to be happening around December of 2012. Naturally, I wanted to do a little uh, investigation of my own in this, and uh, found some rather interesting stuff. Uh, naturally, the first place I wanted to look would be uh, some sort of online planetarium. Uh, this is uh, Google Earth here. Uh, just got it there for eye candy for the moment. But uh, I found a place uh, on the net that's uh, got a planetarium. It's uh, online. It's either Shockwave or Java or SAD. It's user interactive. Uh, Neave.com. N-E-A-V-E.com. And uh, as you can see, I scrolled the date over to 2012, December 21st. Uh, about a quarter after one in the afternoon and as you can see here I've, the sun is uh, right here in the southern sky which that's not uh, not unusual for uh, uh, being the winter time but what I find to be really strange is uh, if you look the planets uh, there's several planets that are in line with the sun on this date uh, for instance, right here we've got Neptune and uh, Mars and Pluto. We've got our Sun here, and we've got Mercury and Venus. And if we scroll a little bit further over here, we've got Saturn. Uh, this is really strange you see that uh, all these planets would be you know basically in a straight line with our Sun that's uh, you know right here you know Saturn and Venus and Mercury and you got the Sun here and Pluto and Mars and we scroll a little further over here yeah never all Pluto here is a little bit out, but the you know what I'm talking about. And it's been about 20, 25 years since I've had anything to do with astronomy, but I don't seem to remember uh, this many planets being in the same sky at the same time, much less being you know right there in a straight line. Let's see if we can get some opinions on this, and uh, let's see what you guys think. Put our heads together. Uh, throw your comments down in the. Uh, down there in the comments area. Rather interesting stuff and seems to me stranger than fiction.